So the Procreate app has just made a very exciting update to the app that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time and I wanted to show it to you today. So it's the text feature. So in order to get this feature, you will need to have the latest version of the Procreate app on your iPad. So you can go ahead and make that update in the App Store. So in order to access this app, first just a heads up, or to access this feature, um, whatever color you currently have selected in the top right color wheel is what color your text will appear at first. So if you have white selected, you might want to change it to a color just so you can see it better. So we're going to hit the wrench icon and under add, under the normal options, we now have add text. So let's just type text is and this is typing it in the in the font that I previously had selected, but that's fine. We can we can change it. So text is here. So you can uh, you can resize it and everything from this menu, but we're going to go to the edit style menu right here. And I do find it easier to use this in portrait orientation because of how big this menu comes up at the bottom. So it's going to give you all of these um, pre-installed fonts. You can also import new ones or anything that you already had installed on your iPad, like this one right here is one of our fonts called Twindigo, um, would automatically show up. I'm just going to use Arial. And I'll choose bold, and then you can increase the size here. So obviously this is a little bit too big for the box that it's in. So if I zoom out, I can pull these little nodes out to make it more appropriately sized. You can change kerning, tracking, leading. So if you wanted the letters a little bit farther apart or closer together, same thing with the baselines. And then we're going to, um, I would leave opacity at 100% and just adjust that with the layers menu later on. I'm going to make this all caps. And I want it to look like this, okay. So you can also do left align, centered, right align, and justify. I'll keep it centered and underline and outlines. So we'll talk about that later, but for now, that's looking pretty good. So if I'm done, I can hit done or I can just tap the layer, uh, the arrow. We can move it around. Now, let's say I made a typo or I wanted to change what the text said. It's actually still editable. So if you go to the layers menu, you can see that instead of showing you a preview of what these look like, like it doesn't, it would normally show you purple text, but now it's just showing you an A. So that means that this text is still editable. So in order to edit it, you can either tap the layer and do edit text, or you can just tap right on the text and it will open this menu back up. So to get back to the keyboard, just hit that icon and then come back to edit style here. So you can change the color from this menu. Um, and once you are happy with it, you can rasterize it so that it's no longer editable. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to duplicate this layer and hide the layer under it. So now let's edit this a little bit further. And I'm just going to change this to outlines. Okay, done with that. So if I bring back my original non-outline, you can see the difference that the outline makes. It makes it bigger. So I thought I would show you a fun little project that we can do that will be pretty quick. I'm going to um, duplicate both of these layers. So I have my outline layer and my non-outline layer, and I'm going to merge them. So merge them, merging them will rasterize them. So you can pinch them to merge. And now you can see in the preview that it's no longer that A, it's actually the preview of the layer. So this is this text is no longer editable. If I tap on it, nothing happens. If I hit the layer, I don't have that edit text option anymore. So it's only editable when you have that A right here. All right, now I'm going to do a motion blur on this. So let's go to adjustments, motion blur. I'm gonna go sort of diagonal and at about 22%. Okay, so that's my fun little motion blur. And if I duplicate this layer, it will darken it a bit just because the opacity was reduced. I'm going to merge that into one layer and I'm going to drag that down and hide it. So now I have my outline text here and my regular text here. 
So I want to change this regular text to white. So I could tap on it, change it to white right here, and there we go. Or I could also um, rasterize it, and now it's no longer editable. Do alpha lock and change it to white that way. Okay, let's bring back our motion blur here. And sometimes it helps to zoom in on this. I'm going to drag it down so that the corners of the shadow match up with the text to give us a nice little perspective shadow right here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to group all of this. So if I tap the top layer and swipe to the right and hit group, just so that I can move all of this text and shadow together. And that's about where I want it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of texture within this text. So what I'm going to do is add a layer on top of the white and hit clipping mask. Then I'm going to pick a lightish purple color. So let's see, I'm gonna grab some of this purple color just using my finger. Decrease the saturation a little bit and increase the brightness. Okay. And let's choose glimmer. So on this clipping mask layer, if I add some glimmer, it's just going to add it to where that white text is. All right, that looks pretty neat. Good to go. And one more thing that I will do is add a layer underneath all of this and add some lights. Uh, actually, I'm not too crazy about how that looks. We'll just keep it how it is. Okay, so one more thing that you might consider doing since we do have this awesome text feature available to us is in the app itself, you can add things like your watermark. So let's just add our Instagram name, Lovely Loops. And we can adjust this how we want to look. Okay, so now I don't have to use a different app to add this to our work. And you can resize it using the text editing or you can actually resize it with the normal transform function. All right, so there we go. So just to review all of the text layers that still have that A on it, First of all, it will rename your layer automatically to whatever text you type. And if it has that A, it means that you can go ahead and still edit it. If not, then that means you have rasterized the layer, which makes it no longer editable. But then you can do things like add blurs and um, it'll still, uh, it'll be just like a normal layer that you would normally have. So that is an overview of how you use the text feature in Procreate. Really excited about this update and hope that you are too and that this tutorial helped you learn a little bit more about how to use it.